Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, lifting our voices in praise and thanksgiving. Your love and mercy endure forever, and we are grateful for your constant presence in our lives. As we gather in your name, we ask for your divine protection over our family. We trust in your promises and seek refuge in your unfailing love. Lord, your word reminds us in Psalm 91 verses 1 and 2, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Today we declare our trust in you. We seek to dwell in your secret place to abide under your shadow, where we are safe and secure. You are our refuge, our fortress, our Lord, our Redeemer, our God. We put our trust in you, knowing that you are our ultimate protector. Father, we ask for your protection over each member of our family. Shield us from harm and danger. Guard our hearts and minds from fear and anxiety. As you have promised in Isaiah 41 verse 10, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We hold on to this promise, believing that you are with us, strengthening us, helping us, and upholding us with your righteous right hand. Lord Jesus, you are our good shepherd. You laid down your life for us, and we are eternally grateful for your sacrifice. As our shepherd, we ask that you lead us beside still waters and restore our souls. In Psalm 23, verses 1 to 4, we read, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. We find comfort in knowing that you are always with us, guiding us and protecting us. Holy Spirit, we invite you to fill our home with your presence, and we pray that we may also be filled with your Spirit. May your peace, which surpasses all understanding, guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. When we are tempted to worry, remind us of your promise in 1 Peter 5 verse 7, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. We cast all our cares upon you, knowing that you care for us deeply. Father, we pray for protection over our physical bodies. Keep us healthy and strong. Protect us from illness and disease. Your word says in Exodus 15 verse 26, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. We believe your promise of healing and protection over our family. We trust that you are our healer, and we ask for your divine health to flow through our bodies. We come before you, humbly asking for your divine protection over our families wherever they go. This world is filled with evil and uncertainty, but we find our peace and security in you alone. Lord, we ask that you be with our loved ones as they walk the streets, travel to work, attend school, and go about their daily activities. Surround them with your angels and place a hedge of protection around them. Just as you promised in Psalm 34 verse 7, the angel of the Lord encamps all around those who fear him and delivers them. We ask that your angels encamp around our family members, delivering them from all harm. Protect them, Lord, from any physical harm, accidents, or dangers. Keep danger far from them and let no evil befall them. As they leave our homes, may they be covered by your mighty hand, and as they return, may they come back safely. Your word in Psalm 121 verse 7 and 8 assures us, The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. 
we believe in this promise over our family. Father, we also ask for your protection over their minds and hearts. Shield them from the lies and schemes of the enemy. Grant them discernment and wisdom to recognize and avoid any evil. Keep them strong in their faith and steadfast in their trust in you. May they always feel your presence, knowing that you are with them every step of the way. Lord, we entrust our family into your loving care. We believe that you are our faithful protector and we rest in the assurance that you are always with us. Thank you for your unfailing love and protection. Lord, we also pray for protection over our minds and emotions. Guard us from the lies of the enemy and from any thoughts that would lead us away from your truth. In 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5, we are instructed to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Help us to discern and reject any thoughts that are not in line with your word. Fill our minds with your truth and let your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. We lift up our children to you, Lord. Protect them as they go to school, as they play, and as they grow. Surround them with godly influences and keep them from any harm or danger. Your word, in Proverbs 22, verse 6, encourages us to train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Give us wisdom as parents to guide and nurture our children in your ways. May they grow to know you, love you, and serve you all the days of their lives. Heavenly Father, we ask for your protection over our home. May it be a place of peace, love, and joy. Guard our home from any spiritual attacks and negative influences. Let your presence dwell richly within our walls. As Joshua declared in Joshua 24 verse 15, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We too declare that our home will serve you, Lord. May your name be glorified in everything we do and say. Lord, we ask for protection over our relationships. Help us to love one another deeply as you have loved us. Your word in Colossians 3 verse 14 instructs us to put on love, which is the bond of perfection. Help us to forgive quickly, to speak kindly, and to act with compassion. Strengthen our bonds and let our home be a reflection of your love. Father, we also lift up our extended family to you. Protect them and keep them safe. May your grace and mercy cover them. Draw them closer to you and help us to be a light to them. In times of need, may we be a source of support and encouragement to one another. Lord, we acknowledge that we cannot protect our family on our own. We need you, and we rely on your strength and power. As your word says in Ephesians 6, verses 10 to 11, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Help us to put on the full armor of God every day. Equip us with the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is your word. Strengthen us to stand firm in our faith and to resist the enemy's schemes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for hearing our prayer. We trust that you are faithful to fulfill your promises. We rest in your unfailing love and protection. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.